Unless you've been living under a rock for the last month or so, you likely have crossed paths with the completely bonkers saga involving the legendary Tough Season 1 winner Diego Sanchez and his coach, manager and all-round life guru Joshua Fabia. Now for this video I'm not going to dive too deeply into the somewhat questionable backstory surrounding this enigmatic figure, but I will attempt to give some insight into who this guy is and how, in my eyes, he should be perceived now that things have come to a head. To kick things off, I'll say that I've always been a huge fan of Diego Sanchez. He is as odd as they come, and as a personality within the MMA world, he has always been so completely unpredictable that you'd often be left with little to no idea of what he was about to say or do next, whether that be in interviews or even during his pre-fight walkouts. But Diego has held a very special place in the hearts of MMA fans over the years. His mantle as one of the most revered fighters in MMA history has come through his years of service at the top flight. As the original middleweight Ultimate Fighter winner, Sanchez has bled for this sport on countless occasions diving headfirst into the fire for our entertainment, bringing us classics such as the Clay Guida fight, his war with Gilbert Melendez, his wild clash with Caro Parisian. These are 10 out of 10 fights, matchups that we always point to as benchmarks for heart, grit and perseverance shown inside the octagon. Diego Sanchez was one of the most game fighters to ever lace up gloves, a ferocious talent who only grew in his viciousness as the fight went on. I remember watching his matchup with Gilbert Melendez live and marvelling at the way he welcomed the former strike Force Champions attacks, slapping himself in the face as he prepared for the next barrage. He's a deserving Hall of Famer and a true fighter in every sense of the word, and though his off-kilter behaviour has often seen him end up as the butt of jokes from the fans, deep down that ridicule always came in spite of the firmly rooted respect we all have for him. Because Sanchez is as wacky as hell and there's no other way to put it. So when the news dropped that Diego had fired his entire coaching team, instead opting to include just one corner man, it wasn't exactly the most shocking or out of character move. Again, Diego has always been a pretty unpredictable guy, and seeing him pair up with the unknown self-help guru Joshua Fabia just seemed like something Diego Sanchez would do. And for a while, my first impressions of Fabia didn't really spring up too many red flags. I mean, look, the decision to have just one man in your corner is odd as hell but I just figured it was Diego's quirkiness shining through once again. However, as time went on and we began learning more about Fabia, things that ranged from his, shall we say, unorthodox training methods to the more worrying aspects of their relationship, namely his position as Diego's coach, manager, nutritionist, and basically every other external role, that's when both I and the MMA world as a whole began to become worried. Listening to Joshua Fabia speak for even a minute will be enough to tell you that this is one extremely narcissistic and ego driven man. And that's before any mention of possible manipulation, opportunism or deception comes into play. But as the story unfolded, we began to understand just how strange this entire situation was. Diego, at the time that Fabia quote unquote found him, was going through a rough patch. At 37, his long and decorated career was seemingly winding down, after a string of brutal defeats. And after going through a recent divorce, to say that Diego was likely in a bad place would be putting it lightly. According to Sanchez himself, Fabio walked into his gym one day, captivated him entirely through his aura, and the pair began working together. Coming to Diego full of the lessons of his self-built school of self-awareness, Fabia enthralled the former UFC title challenger with his teachings. One look at Fabia's school's website and their official Instagram page will give an insight into the type of person this man is. A man who causes tingles in the palm with a handshake, a teacher of teachers, someone who can form lifelong connections with just one glance, feared by many but loved by more, one of the best trainers in the world. Wherever he is, he is home. These are genuine quotes from a promotional video that Fabia has created for his own brand. And I think that anyone with a shred of sense will understand that this guy is yet another in a long line of questionable martial arts and lifestyle gurus. Ones who go all out in their promotion of their ideology. Knowing that if even 99% of people call bullshit, the 1% that don't will likely rise to meet the rather large price point required to enroll. To speak plainly, there is a lot about Joshua Fabia that is fishy. He describes himself as a lifelong healer, and a man who has helped everyone from the military to Olympic champions achieve their goals. Both his personal and professional Instagram pages are filled with artful shots of him posing in beautiful surroundings, videos of women with calming voices describing his merits as a spiritual guide, and Diego Sanchez, at a time of complete and utter vulnerability, clearly found this man irresistible. On a side note, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel now to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Before leaving a comment to 
let YouTube's algorithms know that we are fast becoming one of the best MMA channels on the platform. Now I'm sure there are better resources out there that can put the mannerisms of people who have manipulative or predatory mindsets into greater perspective, but as far as I and many other people were concerned, this guy's overall demeanor seemed nothing less than cult leader-esque. And then things started to get really weird. Sanchez, who was expected to fight Cowboy Cerrone last month, was unceremoniously axed from the UFC after Fabio requested in-depth medical records on Sanchez prior to the fight, and later leaked a video of a private meeting between himself, Diego, and the UFC via social media. In the video, Fabio, as he does in all of his public conflicts, avoided answering direct questions by either changing the subject or speaking about himself and his own perception of what is going on. And that was the major trend during his time with Diego. This man could not get enough of the camera. He could not allow himself to stay out of frame for too long at all. Everything related back to him and his struggle, no matter what the initial question was. And after watching hours of footage of this man talking under various levels of pressure and retaliation, it's pretty clear to me that he is packing an ego that would put 99% of cage fighters to shame. And whether his intention was to promote himself or take advantage of Sanchez, the situation came to its climax in the last week, as Diego confirmed to the world that he had cut ties with Fabia, ending their turbulent relationship relationship with the promise of a statement to follow. However, not one to be outdone, Fabia was the first of the two to speak publicly, unleashing a shocking tirade on his one-time friend and pupil, revealing a wide range of highly personal secrets and struggles that had hounded Diego's private life for years. Seriously, I don't even want to repeat what Fabio was willing to share because even if most of you already know the details, everything from his full disclosure on Sanchez's private life to his clear attempts to potentially sexualize his students using some incredibly baffling OnlyFans video titles just makes it very clear to me that Josh Joshua Fabia was and is a toxic presence in Diego's life, and whatever damage he has already done, we'd rather leave it at that. But as far as his own statement was concerned, that wasn't even enough for him. Fabia went on to claim that it was he, and not Diego, who was being manipulated in their relationship, calling the UFC legend the one who had taken him for a ride, and not the other way around. Fabia, who has now widely been demonized by the masses, has attempted to deflect the blame in true narcissistic fashion, creating a story that paints him as the victim, a pattern that you may recognize from every single public speaking appearance he has had in the last year. Personally, I can't tell if he's trying to self-promote so tirelessly that he doesn't care about how he comes across, or if he's genuinely lacking in the self-awareness he claims to teach to such an ungodly extent which I will mention is hilarious, given the school that he is the head of. Once the MMA world are finished ensuring that this man's ego has been sufficiently dampened, I do hope that whatever anger we're collectively feeling towards this clear charlatan will be replaced by a show of support for Diego. He has given us so much over these years, so many incredible fights and feats of fighting spirit. If this is truly where the Diego Sanchez story ends, it will certainly be a sad outcome for such a great fighter and engaging character. But either way, I wanted to make this video to give my take on this situation because all in all, whatever amount of humor I could initially derive from watching this wacky little man running around the octagon with a knife was quickly replaced with some real concern for the well-being of one of our sport's most devoted servants. So yeah, I'm content to leave it at that. Best of luck to Diego Sanchez. I realize that it probably took some great courage to turn your back on the basket that you had literally placed all of your eggs in, but when I read the news of the split I was honestly quite grateful. But what did you make of this hugely unfortunate situation that has enveloped the career of the original Ultimate? Ultimate Fighter. And what's your take on the mysterious Joshua Fabia and the inconsistencies that run through both his backstory and his supposed status as a master of quote unquote self awareness? Do let us know in the comment section below. We always love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment before subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Thanks for watching.